This is a nice driver. Is it, it hasn't been driven in, oh God, I can't remember, 86, so in about 30 years. Whoa. We got it with the engine sitting next to the car and we've done a bunch of work. But it hasn't been driven at all, like as you can tell the interior isn't even quite finished yet. Yeah. Okay, whenever you want. Okay. I bought this one and I bought two more, but the other two are in Sweden. One is a station wagon and one is a two-door hardtop. I have to go to Sweden, either sell them in Europe or go to Sweden and pick them up. What's the circular stuff in front of the speed? Yeah, yeah. That's a clock. Oh, well, okay. We call it the satellite clock because it rotates this way. In 1960, they, 50, 59 they got really weird, in 60 they got even weirder with a clear steering wheel with a metal plate. And and the, oh, and the clock even works. I didn't know that. Look at that. And the swivel out seats. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a this it is a one year only. Okay. Very 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 unusual mark, uh, styling on this. Sixty one, they were completely different. Again. Yeah, that fast. That's a good question. I'm sure it does 100 miles an hour, but oh, okay. but I don't know if it's faster than that. I don't know. I've never driven it very, very fast. I think it's nice. It's already quite, quite nice, the car that level. I'm sorry, say? Uh, 100 miles an hour is already nice, the car that level. It is, yeah. And they're modern enough, you can actually go places in these cars. Uh -huh. What sort of mileage per gallon do you get? 10, 15? Yeah, somewhere 10, 15. Yeah, yeah. You can probably adjust these where you get close to 15, I, I would think. Okay. Boy, I don't think it's been driven this far in, in 30 years. <laughs> That's cool. And this one you want to sell? Yes, this one's for sale. How much for? I'm asking 29,500 for it. Okay. And of course we have to finish up a few things. Yeah, yeah. These are super rare cars. And this one you'd be willing to ship it somewhere else? Every, th every place except North Korea. <laughs> That's That I can't handle. Yes. My friend who I bought this from, he has a large collection of, of these kind of cars. 1960 Dodge. Uh, he bought most of them from me over the last 20 years. And he said he would prefer not to see it in Sweden because he's got most of his cars in Sweden. Oh, but he right. said he said on the other hand he said it's your car, you do whatever you want to with it. So uh -huh. he's not gonna he's not gonna complain if it shows up in Sweden. But yeah, yeah. some people get like that with cars. They're like it's like an old girlfriend. I don't want to see you with my, someone else with my yeah, old yeah. girlfriend. And he is that way, but like I said he doesn't he's not that oh Today. I mean, really it wasn't easy. that much. I was really planning on taking the whole day and not doing anything else. But people overseas, well, you know, it is in in Europe. It's now it's night. Now they're sleeping, but while they're awake, they want to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I wonder where all the gas. Yeah, I go in on this parking lot sometimes and take pictures. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, that is interesting. Yep, we're out of gas. We'll make it back to the shop. <laughs> ah, well, it's close to walk. Do you want me to push? I'll just go and get some, either a forklift or a, or a tank of gas. 
we're in the, on the other side of this building. Uh -huh. ah, it's too heavy to push. Okay. Well, that was that was not very elegant to run out of gas when we're driving. Don't worry. That makes it interesting. Ooh. Maybe we'll even make it to the. Maybe not. No, I'll go and get some gas. So we to wait here or? What? Sure. Yeah. Okay. If, if you're, yeah. Whatever you want to do. I'm no just problem. I'm just gonna walk around. The car. Okay. Take us, think you should take us around the corner. Sorry, to you, you had to do that. It's my fault. <laughs> I shouldn't be driving cars with no gas in them. <laughs> when you have so many cars, you, you don't know from, of course, from day to day what's going to happen to you. And, uh, you never trust the fuel gauge on an old car. Yeah. Let's do that one also. I have no idea if it's going to be working or not. Yeah. That's good. Faster. It's almost coming out from the top. That's it. Okay. Yeah, this is a transmission All right. funnel, not for fuel. Yeah. But uh, it's they're so long and it's good for old cars. We can drive this one down to the gas station and get some fuel. Oh, that's that was 86 the last time this was registered on license. <laughs> Thank you. And that was in San Diego. Uh-huh. That's huge. <laughs> you could see yeah. there. Yeah, it is pretty big. It is, <laughs> yeah. And fuel fuel pumps don't pump air very well. Uh -huh. I might have to go and put a little gas on the carburetor. We'll see.
what year did you, did you say this one? 1960. It's, uh, it's called Polara. It's the uh, top of the line. Oh. It's a big, big body and, uh, and the most, uh, the most luxurious of the big body cars. Uh -huh. Now, let's see if we can mount up the car and park. Don't have the shifter, they just have a push button, which is kind of nice. So you change it while you drive and you have to push it, or is it? No, it's automatic. All right. It's just neutral, reverse. All right, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. That's, uh, that's a great way to shift a car. Why is that? It's, uh, it's just simple. Instead of having stuff sticking out on the floor or on the column, uh -huh. it's much simpler. You just have a little mechanism and a wire down to the transmission, or a cable, I should say. And do they do that on modern cars anymore? No, in 1965, uh, the, uh, the federal authorities said you have to standardize how, the way you shift the car. You can't, you can't have all manufacturers come up with their own ways of doing it, so they went away from push buttons in 65. Mm -hmm. They really should have stayed with this and gotten rid of the other ones because this is a great system. Uh -huh. Now they have that, you know, the all kinds of paddle shifts and all yeah. kinds of stuff. But at the time, they weren't allowed to do to keep that. Okay. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. Oh, it was nice. Nothing. Nice.